Welcome to Navel Gazing at Camp David with our special guest, Ramsey the Vichla. Thanks for coming back. We've got a really interesting yacht for you this week and a very special wine pairing. So without further ado, let's get into it. Because it's so special, we have something uh, a little extraordinary. This isn't uh, a yacht you would pair with a mere wine. No, this is a yacht that has to be paired with a vodka. Sobralka, bison grass vodka. From, uh, theoretically there is a blade of grass in here from the enchanted forest of Bialsiasia which is on the border of Poland and Belarus. It's actually uh, one of the last remnants of untouched primeval forests in Europe. So, let's see what we have this week for, uh, for our little pairing here. Something more than marginally unusual. Bison, grass, vodka. Sobrawa. Oh, well, that's unusual. Let's throw there. That is delicious. Okay, we'll get right into this week's very special yacht, the Wave 50. So, the look of this yacht is really quite extraordinary, as you can see. You're gonna love it or hate it, but uh, it makes a statement. When it pulled up at the dock on the last day of the uh, International multi hull Show in uh, the Grand Mont, I was completely surprised to see it. Um, it. It makes a statement. So you had people crowding around it, circling it, taking pictures from every angle. It's really a piece of modern sculpting art. And what's really interesting about this, when you look at it, at it in comparison to our other yachts here, first of all, it's got quite a small sail area, but uh, it's 50 foot long and about 1.3 million euro, but it is the biggest 50 foot yacht you're ever going to see in your life. I could easily live on this, and I know Sylvia could too. It is luxury embodied, depending on who designs the interior, because it's a very custom design yacht. Looking at the comparison here, you can see the upwind sail area here is basically the third lowest of the group. And of course, the uh, freeboard and, and the, the, the sheer windage of this is probably the greatest. Um, the pricing on it is the second most expensive, but do remember, you're getting a full carbon composite yacht uh, with a uh, hybrid drive. This is no just kind of low-end yacht. On the weight side, it looks like it's going to weigh as much as the ginormous sunroof at 35.3 ton, but it's actually the tied for the lowest weight in this entire group at 16 and a half tons, thanks to the, uh, the carbon composite construction, which also indicates that it may be one of the, the, the strongest and stiffest with very little give or noise. Uh, on the full uh, comparison here, you can see I actually had to add another line here because this is a full hybrid yacht. I had to add the battery bank. So it's got a, quite an extensive battery bank. Now onto the, the aft platform here. Um, you've got access into the, uh, the uh, starboard hull um, aft uh, stateroom. You've got a, a wide aft uh, hydraulic hull, uh, hydraulic lift coming up onto the flybridge. Of course, all of your uh, your winches are electric. They're all sitting there for you. You've got 
a very comfortable double helm and a really convenient um, passenger seat right beside it along with a very large and luxurious lounge area. Now above you may have noticed that convertible roof. Uh, so the, the actual Bimini is convertible with solar panels along each side. Uh, the, the challenge there, of course, is that your boom is so high up in the air and to get to it, somebody's going to have to be brave enough to get up on top of that uh, roof. Now, I was one of the first on board here, so they were still cleaning up some of the water that came through. You can see nice wide side decks, but these extraordinary massive side saloon windows. Um, you've got the flush uh, deck hatches. You've got small trampolines because you have, again, an unbelievable forward cockpit. And holding, uh, you know, a tie with Leopard as being one of the only ones with a covered forward cockpit. Now, a bit of uh, thought here on the uh, technology uh, idea for the day, and that is um, you got a, a boat like this with a relatively small upland sail area, but a nice light carbon structure. How do you get more performance out of it? Well, there's this wonderful company called Advanced Wing Systems out of Australia. And they have come up with a proper wing, a, a retractable wing sail. Now this isn't uh, sort of the stiff, you got to crane it on structure of the uh, America's Cup boats. This isn't um, the Orem sail uh, that, that Wally tried out with, you know, a front foil and a back foil. Yes, it's retractable, quite complex and heavy. It's not uh, the inflatable style that you've seen. It's not even as complex as the one that uh, uh, Beneteau tried. This is simple. It uses two sides, two sail uh, areas on each side, very um, stiff ribs in within the sail, uh, and a, a turning uh, mast that that bends one side of the ribs and and flattens out the other side of the ribs, creating a true wing foil. Now this means that literally you can pull up to the dock, depower the, the, the wing without bringing it down and sit there quite happily because it's such a taut structure. There's no flogging of the sail in any way, shape or form. And so you can tie up, you can do whatever you want under full control and then bring your wing down anytime you want to. It really is incredibly simple and, and a brilliant idea. Uh, it has been tested in a transatlantic crossing on a uh, Vision 444 and was extremely successful. Uh, you can contact uh, AWS on their website and see the review of that crossing. So uh, that is uh, our little tech tip for the day. And uh, you can see here a few more drawings and the benefits of this sale. Now, looking down again, down the side of the Wave 50, you, the, these side windows, you can't say enough. Wait until you get inside and see these. Um, nice high stanchions and lifelines. And again, a really good side deck. Uh, the back, <clears throat> you can see the um, hydraulic lift there. Uh, it creates uh, quite a nice area that extends off the back deck. Into the interior, full size of American fridge. Uh, massive kitchen. Look at the size of these windows. You even have sort of the hanging decorative uh, over counter uh, um, light uh, assembly there. Here is your beautiful um, uh, galley table and settee. Uh, and um, then that's not the end of it. So remember, you're in a 50 foot yacht here. Look at the size of these side windows and then you've got a full living room. But that's not the end of it either. Look at this beautiful uh, recessed lighting up. Uh, the colors and the materials in this, this owner's choice would not be mine, but bear in mind this is completely custom and you can do anything you want with it. Uh, look at the, the side um, um, uh, 
counter there with the wine cooler and glasses. But remember, you've seen the dining room, you've seen the living room. Now, let's move into the forward cockpit. The side curtains are on here, but you do also have a lovely ceiling over top this cockpit. And look at the space in this thing. Remember, you're on a 50-foot boat. This is not a 60, this is not a 70, this is a 50-foot. And the space allowable here makes it, well, bigger than most Vancouver apartments. Um, materials are your full choice. You've got access in up onto the side deck and, and the, uh, the bow nets and a nice little uh, embedded uh, um, center console there uh, housing the, uh, uh, the sail pole. Sorry for the terminology here, guys. Um, going down into the hull, huge windows, absolutely huge windows. And look at this master cabin. Again, don't pay as much attention to the decorating. All of this is custom, so you can do whatever you want with it but the sheer size of this area, the light that's permitted in here, how open and airy it feels. Uh, it really is quite extraordinary. And if you do whatever you want with your, uh, your colors, your materials, you can start to imagine what this could look like. Remember, this is only 16.5 ton. Uh, moving down the side, um, again, this is your, uh, your passenger hull. You've got a, a beautiful uh, head here, a fully enclosed shower, massive, massive windows, as big as in most houses. Lots of mirrors, lots of recessed lighting. Um, really creates an inviting space, especially if you do what you want uh, with your overall design. While they're going up and over, I'm gonna pour a little bit more of this because it really is nice. Okay, up and over. Let's throw it. Mm. It's like sweet, it's got a, ah, I'm not sure what the oil is, but it's really nice. Um, look at the size of your hydraulic platform. Full area to enjoy the outdoors. And uh, uh, massive sugar scoops. Looking down the side here, I mean, look at the profile. <laughs> Again, what do you say about this vessel? Um, you know, uh, add a wing sail to it at 16 and a half ton, full carbon construction, stiff as a board, massive, massive internal space. Uh, Again, the, the whole performance question is one that might stop you, the, the aesthetics maybe, but livability, I'm sorry, you just can't get away from the livability of this boat. Not to mention, it most assuredly draws the crowd. Uh, the, the upper deck too, with that convertible top, uh, really, really does create a fabulous uh, additional space. So you have back deck, Massive front cockpit, huge two area saloon, and a, a beautiful deck up top. Uh, you could have four families on this and never see each other. And uh, again, like a spaceship. I mean, look at the front of this thing. Uh, it, it, it has something to be said for it, for sure. So I hope you've enjoyed this tour. I certainly was thrilled to see the Wave 50 show up at the docks. Um, I know that uh, I could certainly live aboard this and uh, adding maybe a wing sail to the top there, assuming I have the uh, courage to climb up there and adjust the sail when I need to in that sail bag, it might be just the yacht for you. Thanks very much and hopefully, hopefully we'll see you back here again next week.